definitely had a cool wet day out there and it's getting wetter by the moment uh, it is. and pretty cold up in the mountain as well. Yeah, temperatures in the 20s, snowfall for the mountains, wet here in the valley and for the Oregon coast. I wanted to start off with seaside because you can see the rain coming down there and it's also breezy. So we have a little bit of everything as this system does approach us late tonight and carries over into tomorrow morning and some of that wind uh, we'll make some noise here probably in the valley for tonight. So something that uh, may wake you up briefly. 46 degrees right now out of seaside. Today there was some dry moments early in the day, but then the afternoon brought in some rain, formed with some showers. And then we started seeing the rain more consistent for tonight because we're getting some enhancement here as the system does arrive. So this is going to uh, continue to kind of sag down to the southeast here over the next 24 hours. It's going to travel fairly slow, but I believe by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon and evening hours, most of it is out of here and we start to see some drying conditions. But radar right now still pretty active, so we will have a decent amount of rain from about this point on all the way into probably about 3 or 4 a.m. Snowfall for the mountains, heavy rain there out for the Oregon coast. So waking up early tomorrow morning, if you usually go out to you know, maybe the beach for a nice walk or something, it's going to be wet. Um, but here's the thing, it starts to dry from the northwest down to the southeast. So areas like Astoria down to Seaside, Gearhart, Warrington, everything in between down to Manzanita, it will start drying out pretty early for you folks. So you might actually have a nice sunrise. You might get a little peek in the clouds there. All right, here's some rain around Portland, extending on 84 out towards areas of the gorge. We have Gresham down towards Lake Oswego where it's pretty wet and that goes for Wilsonville. And uh, it'll pick up a little bit for you folks down towards Salem there eventually as this does kind of sag down to the southeast. All right, Mount Hood Meadows. Yeah, okay, sorry. Upper teens. It is pretty cold up there. Uh, plenty of snowfall this weekend. In fact, the last 24 hours, you can see uh, those totals right there. Some about a half a foot. Um, by the time we get into tomorrow night, uh, it's possible that we have another half a foot to a foot of snowfall. All right, so the National Weather Service has a winter weather advisory because of all that. So if you're doing any sort of travel, you got to get up to government camp and you're going over the passes, expect them to be snowy. Anywhere from about like three to six inches is possible for some of the passes there. Um, not as much down to the south, but it's going to be a snowy day. So yes, spring snowstorm here with this weather alert and that does expire tomorrow about 5 p.m. as things kind of slow down in the second part of the day. You can see some of the snow totals right there. All right, wind gust forecast. Watch what happens as we go through the overnight. It does pick up to about 20, 30 miles per hour, but then by tomorrow afternoon really starts cranking east of the Cascades, the Dallas over towards Pendleton, mid 30s, maybe even 40 miles per hour. And then by Tuesday, we start to see that wind increase over towards Baker City for you folks on the east side of the state. All right, seven day forecast, 54 degrees on Tuesday. Nice, not bad. Tuesday's gonna be a good day. Then we're back to some rain on Wednesday. Uh, carries over into Thursday, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday sure feels like some warmer spring temperatures. Mid 60s uh, for the weekend, not bad. Time to make those weekend plans for next weekend. Mm -hmm. All right.